then happy Halloween because now the coziest time of the year is barely starting I thought that we could grab a cup of tea or hot chocolate get really comfortable and review and rate some Halloween costumes maybe who knows if you don't have a costume yet you could find some really good inspo here mandatory tea or any warm beverage of choice I'll start by saying that basically all the pictures that I found are from Pinterest or TikTok and if I'm not going to like a specific look that you do like or that you created it's nothing personal just a matter of opinions first of all we're starting with this black swan look that I absolutely love. I love how she did the feathers and the crown immaculate. If you remember last week I also did a black swan makeup look. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure you do so you know how to do your makeup for tomorrow's parties. Overall, I really love the makeup look. I love how sharp everything is. This costume is so so great. Princess Mia, this costume is really popular. I think we're going to see a few other iterations of it, but I actually love the vibes of this. I haven't ever seen anyone in real life doing this costume, so please give me more because this is so chic and so cute. And if you have those iconic headphones, like, oh my god, yes. Now we have another white and black swan. The girls are really pretty. They did great. I love the feather-like skirt. Like, where do you even find that? Overall, I'm really loving this look, especially when it's like a duo of girls wearing matching costumes. So beautiful. Now this isn't the happiest picture lineup because I'm not sure I'm enjoying the cave woman aesthetic or whatever these costumes are supposed to be. Probably from like Family Flintstone or something. I just I'm getting no good vibes from this. I'm I'm sorry, it's just not my thing. The idea in itself could be cute, you know, matching costumes with your bestie, but the aesthetic is just not my thing, so I'm sorry. This is enough for me. I'm sure you've been seeing Harry Potter costume reiterations and makeup reiterations ever since you were like, I don't know, in middle school or something. I have seen them as well. And I have to say, in my opinion, it really depends on how well you actually execute the costume because I have seen good alternatives and I have also seen let's say questionable ones but this one right here the girly did great I honestly love the uniform now again with the matching questionable Halloween choices I'm not sure what this is supposed to be some kind of camouflage camouflage commanders I'm not sure what's with the whole military commander Lara Croft aesthetic on Halloween I never understood it I never liked it and especially this kind of like camouflage thing this not giving not giving nice vibes it's not giving Halloween let's go to the club vibes it's not necessarily mocking the professions I'm not saying that it's just that you can do way better than this kind of thing there are way better alternatives even for dual costumes they're still easy to do so please no more uniformy things I really love this look because I feel like you really align your personalities with it. So if, for example, one of the girls in the trio is more romantic, she's going to take the merry look. And for the black cat of the group, it's probably going to be the kill costume. Everything is just so nice and I feel like you can really personalize everything. And also, also most of us already own pretty much all the items that you would need to create this look. So even if it's nothing necessarily really fancy, all of us own a black top or a white top or a red top you know or a red dress you can really work with what you already have instead of having to buy like the whole outfit because let's be fair especially when you're doing your halloween costume you're probably going to look into the cheaper alternative whatever you want to wear they haven't really hurt people willing to invest your halloween clothing if they knew they weren't going to wear it later for example when i did the black swan costume i used the black lacy items that i already had and if i were going to wear it outside i would probably buy a black lace like corset like the ones that i showed you before but i would only purchase the corset because i know that i have wanted it for a long time and i'm also sure that i will wear it in multiple looks so it's not just going to rot in the back of my closet after wearing it for one Halloween which I feel like is most likely the case with most of the Halloween costumes that I react badly to like for example the cavewoman costume like you're not going to wear that ever again or probably just 
on another Halloween. You are not going to wear that top ever again, but for example, if you do not own a red top or a red dress or a white top and you decide to do the Kiss Mary Kill costume with your friends, you are most likely going to find multiple or maybe even countless occasions to wear a white top again, even if it's on the fancier side. And in this type of situation, it's even better to actually invest in a good and higher quality piece of clothing because you know that you are going to wear it multiple times. It's going to last you longer, which means that in the event that you choose a Halloween costume that is pretty impractical and that you are never going to wear again, you're obviously like anybody else would going to go for the cheaper alternative which means that you're just going to give more money to the fast fashion industry that the rest of us are trying to stop or at least limit. Of course, it doesn't apply to all of the out of the ordinary costumes. Next, we have this Lara Croft, I think. This is called the Action Ready Raider. I'm pretty sure this is a Lara Croft reiteration. I'm not commenting on people's appearance. Please don't get that. I'm just commenting on the idea of the costume. I'm not a fan of it, as I was telling you, with the Commander costume. The girlies were really beautiful, but the costume, the idea in itself, is just not in my field of preference. Now, for example, with her costume, I feel like she's already using like pieces that she had in her closet. Because most of us already own a black tank top, black jeans or black shorts so it's not exactly a wasteful costume and I'm going to give her points for that I I'm just not into the Lara Croft aesthetic. Oh my god, Runway Bride is so cute. You're supposed to like wear whatever white dress you own. Most of us already own one of those, so again, not wasteful. And I love the idea. Maybe you're not even going to be a Runway Bride, just a bride. For example, hear me out, if you don't own the necessary white attire for this and you decide to do this look for Halloween you can wear the exact same dress next year as well and accessorize it in order for it to be the white swan or some sort of fairy or even the kiss Mary kill I feel like it's a really practical choice even if you decide to purchase it as I was saying to purchase the white dress for the first time and you can also wear it on any casual occasions especially in summer we all love a white dress I have been seeing the chef's kiss a lot and I mean really a lot probably one of the most seen costumes so if you want to be trendy maybe consider doing that as you can see it's just red platforms a red dress most of us already own those a spoon like that's so funny to me and even if you don't own red shoes I'm pretty sure you can wear other colors and still look really nice the only thing that I find a bit questionable here let's say is the hat in itself because like where do you buy those like exactly where do you buy those because yes, if you already prepared your halloween costume like one month in advance you probably ordered one and it arrived in time and something else that i love about this look is that let's say you're not comfortable with doing your makeup you're not really experimented at doing your makeup you can just wear red lips as it is shown in this inspo and the costume is already complete and i mean the spoon yes please please do the spoon the next one that i found is princess and the pea and this is a classic story for me at least and there's something so chic and cute about this i just love of this idea. You could totally wear this if you're comfortable to, especially around your friends, or maybe you just have a girly sleepover. I would love, like, I would absolutely love to see more Halloween parties done at home because I'm kind of tired of the club idea. I absolutely love the Miu Miu Ballet Flats. They are so cute and I love that we're still wearing them. And probably my favorite thing about this is the be plushy like that is so adorable i would love to own one of those and honestly i was so ready to do this look because i find it so cute but unfortunately i do not own any pee toy but it's so adorable we are now entering the alice in wonderland costume realm and we're probably never going to exit this because i have found so many good ideas on this exact Theme. And I'm an Alice in Wonderland lover in general. I feel like the aesthetic is really unique. So seeing so many costume ideas, so many, so many clothing ideas just makes me really happy. And for example, this one here is just so so interesting. I'm not sure about the top, like I think you're supposed to handcraft that yourself, which would be a bit risky in my opinion. Just sticking some cards together, maybe if you have a corset that you're not using anymore, you could stick the cards on top of it so they don't 
fall or disintegrate and other than that of course you can obviously replace some items with similar items that you already own for example a red skirt or other red shoes I feel like this is so cute and of course to complete it we have the rest of the costumes this exact idea that this creator showed you need for friends to do this costume with I'm really loving the Alice costume the blue dress is so pretty I would love to be Alice honestly the rabbit is my second favorite because this is so cute so girly so feminine and again the white pieces could be recycled in future Halloween looks or maybe you already own them from past Halloween looks or just fashion looks in general I found more inspiration on the black and white swan costume this girl is slayed as well the costumes are really beautiful the angel now this is a classic and I can understand why obviously but at the same time maybe we've been doing this exact Halloween look for way too long so I would suggest maybe I don't know spice it up specific angel costume like I don't know Victoria's secret angel or any type of other angel just get more specific please as I was telling you before some more of the the princess diaries outfit choices these are all pretty similar I feel like they are really beautiful and this is such a fun costume honestly because with the latest not exactly recent but still latest controversies about celebrities and how different the income gap and the possibilities gap is between celebrities and the rest of the people, literally. And the controversies with the Marie Antoinette imagination. I think it was for the Met Gala. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to feel about this costume choice because in itself it could be cute, but maybe just don't call it Marie Antoinette. If you like this particular aesthetic, I feel like Bridgerton is really close to this as well. So you could maybe try and incorporate some details from Bridgerton, maybe pick a character because... Honestly, I have never seen and I want to see this. I want to see people dressing as Bridgerton characters. Please give me Violet. Please give me Daphne. Anthony, like, is this too much to ask for? I want to see Kate. Nobody is dressing up as Bridgerton. Like, where are my Bridgerton girlies? If you find anybody with this costume or if you actually do the costume on your own, please tag me in it. I'm desperate for some Bridgerton Halloween looks. And speaking of that, you know what I would love to see? I'm sure you've seen, because I'm pretty sure I have, people dressed as characters from Friends. For example, I know Monica and Rachel as a duo or Phoebe and Rachel or so on. But I want to see a group of friends. I want to see six friends and each of them represent one character so you have joey and i want to see joey maybe you can find some sort of fake turkey to put over your head and like get dressed in all of your clothes like rachel and monica for example i feel like a lot of us already own those kinds of floating items i feel like with ross and chandler as well maybe phoebe could be a bit tricky because she has more personality in her style if you have five other friends just do this look for Halloween because I feel like it could be so fun. Next we have the flapper girl. I didn't even know that this costume was called like this. I honestly don't feel so strongly about it because unless you actually have a lot of the accessories and the specific clothing items for this type of aesthetic. I feel like you could easily get mistaken for something else. And I'm not sure a lot of us own really sparkly, really furry clothes like in these pictures for example. Could look nice if executed well. The Adams Family costume, this doesn't need any special introduction. I've seen this done so many times and especially after the Netflix series Wednesday, a lot of people have been recreating these costumes which makes me kind of tired of seeing them. Basically the only scenario in which I would love to see these costumes is when executed correctly. You have the makeup done right, the costume in itself is great quality, but otherwise I'm a bit bored of them. I would love to see the magician and the rabbit. I've never seen people wear these costumes and I feel like they are such a cute duo. And again, you could really match them to your personality. I feel like the clothes tell a story, they're not just a plain costume there. And you can also create them with pieces that you already have. So yes, Please, this costume, amazing. About the devil and the angel duo, as I was saying before with just the angel, but this duo together, I feel like it's overdone. We've seen it so many times. Of course, if you're just going for the easy alternative, feel free to wear this. It's still a cute costume. But if Halloween is for you the one moment of creation, of inspiration, please give us more because I would love to see more specific choices. Now this might be my 
favorite costume. This might be my favorite idea for Halloween ever. Paddington, like, oh my god. And with the Ralph sweater and the bear looking like Paddington, this is immaculate. This is amazing. And if I would ever see anybody wearing this costume, like meet them in real life, I would be like, yes, you get the prize for the best Halloween costume ever. Nothing can ever top this. And with the boots and the hat and the coat, everything is so, so adorable about this costume. And you are literally iconic for doing this. And now that I actually discovered this idea, I might do it for next Halloween because I am in love with the concept. Next we have Puss in Boots. I'm not sure what this costume is supposed to be. Not this exact choice of clothing. I mean this idea on its own. I feel nothing when looking at this. I feel nothing when thinking of the concept. I'm not a Puss in Boots story hater, don't get me wrong. I'm just not a fan of this. The items of clothing in themselves are really nice. I would see myself styling this type of outfit without the hat, obviously, and the sword. I feel nothing when thinking of this costume, I feel like you could do so much better. I feel like the Maddie and Cassie duo is pretty easy to do. And even if you don't have these exact clothes, maybe you have other clothes that are similar to other episodes that they have. Although this duo was probably overdone a few years ago when Euphoria was really trending. But like, why not bring it back? I don't see the issue because I don't feel like this was overdone, especially like I didn't see it overdone. I'm not bored of it. Maybe do it more. Maybe do it with other Euphoria characters. Forget Euphoria characters. Please give me Bridgerton. This girly slayed. The costume slayed. The makeup, everything. Amazing. I'm pretty sure she's the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. So count me in. I'm a total fan. And I chose to react to this picture because, oh my god, the watch. If that is a purse, I am going to lay on the floor speechless because I need that. And even if the watch is not a purse, like that is so stylish and cute, count me in. The uniform issue is back. Why would you want to recreate this? Why would you want to wear a police uniform costume on Halloween? Like, I don't see the point of us dressing like professionals in certain fields. And yes, I am a total hater of the nurse outfit. I hate everything about that. And I'm sure everybody looks great when wearing it. I'm, again, not talking about the people's appearance. I'm just talking about the idea of the costume, the concept. I don't get why you would want to dress like that when there are other many amazing costumes. And for example, this inspo, besides the boots, which are amazing and I own something that's very similar if it's not this exact pair of boots, and the hair looks really nice. I do not understand why and therefore I don't like it. I actually struggled to find any kind of Jennifer's body recreation because while most of these screenshots I found literally just searching Halloween costume or Halloween inspiration or whatever I also saw text you know, like articles just mentioning ideas for example Jennifer's body was one of them for some reason they didn't find people dressed like that and I searched on TikTok as well because I remember that last year a lot of people recreated this and slayed and the year before that as well I just didn't find enough pictures or pictures at all. So the best we could do was this picture, unfortunately, which is not exactly precise. It just shows what you're supposed to wear for the look. Now, of course, if you're going to do something like this or something similar, in which fake blood or red paint or whatever is necessary, make sure it doesn't stain your clothes or other people's clothes because it would be so inconvenient. Like, for example, that white puffer jacket, are you sure that's going to be repairable after you use literal red dye on it? I'm not sure what the thing showed here is. Like, it's just called screaming, take blood and scary splatter. I don't know what that is. And most of the fake blood I see in shops, for example, is just of questionable quality that would probably ruin your clothes so make sure you test it or on some piece of fabric maybe before and make sure that obviously the label says it's washable the next one i have never seen this as well because i haven't seen most of the costumes that i would actually love to see regina george like 
yes please give me that i have seen inspiration on it and ideas and i feel like yes this picture this suggested picture is one of the easiest to do if you have a white tank top that you don't like anymore of course you can recreate this iconic scene but at the same time if you're doing this i'm wondering if there aren't other regina george looks that are way more fun and when i'm saying fun i mean you know it's a bit harder to recreate which makes your costume more unique and the experience in itself is more fun you cannot miss as girlies as friends to dress up as different versions of britney spears our queen this is so fun this is so nice you can also each pick your favorite look and by the looks of it besides the red latex costume these girls probably already own these pieces which is even more fun to just take something out of the closet and use it for a halloween look Next up, I'm putting these Lana Del Rey costumes together. I also struggled to find a Lana Del Rey quality inspo. These are the best I could find. If you have better ideas or better suggestions, leave them out for everybody to see, please, because me or other people might be interested, so we're going to search for them in the comment section. But this makeup in itself, like, at first I literally thought this was Lana Del Rey, like, before zooming in on the photo, because she did amazing it's so beautiful and even the camera posing like the way she's holding the camera this is so lana del rey like amazing and the flowers in the hair and the dress are really beautiful as well but i just cannot get over her blue eyeshadow really i'm not sure if this is your account the love witch you did amazing your makeup is really really great and please let us know from what palette you took that shade of blue because it is exquisite and i need that immediately in my life we are ending this reaction session with a couple costume because i haven't mentioned any of those as some ideas that i found online were nice for example it was this ratatouille couple costume or Batman and Batwoman, but I feel like you're doing Batman and Batwoman. You're supposed to have really, really high quality costumes because otherwise, like, everybody did that. Because I feel like most of them are just tacky to me right now. I would love to see Cruella though. I think I've seen Cruella costumes executed so nicely. Even in real life, I saw a few girls dressed as Cruella and that was really cool. But back to this costume, this duo, the Phantom of the Opera. Oh my god. This is so cool. And I feel like it is one of the few couple costumes that I don't find tacky. Because most of them are. I'm sorry. Hear me out. If you don't want to be tacky but still want to match your partner, you can go as Barbie and Bibble. Please. I haven't seen people do that and I would love to. Or, speaking of Barbie, if you have more girlfriends in your friend group, just go each of you as different Barbie movies. That is so amazing. As I was saying with couples costumes, I'm not a fan of them. Not because of the concept in its own, because yes, matching with my partner would be amazing. I would love to wear matching costumes with my boyfriend. But the line is so thin between being cute and aesthetic and being cringe and tacky. I feel like the line is barely there sometimes. This one though, they slayed. Amazing absolute slay and honestly if you're going to be matching with your boyfriend or girlfriend i would love to see more personal choices let us know about your personality maybe actually go as something that you both like but is not as mainstream and done and overdone as all these costumes like if i see one more policeman and policewoman duo i will delete Pinterest and Instagram and everything. I don't want to see that anymore. Please be more creative. Especially because we're talking about you being like people in a couple, you know? You're supposed to know each other's interests and actually go with them. I don't know. And by the way, I want to see more book characters as Halloween costumes. Why are we not seeing that? In my free time, I'm really a dedicated book girlie. So I want to see more book characters they would be even easier to make because that's how you imagine the character to look you are going to literally wear what you imagine they wear which is even easier than having to copy actual visual inspiration and speaking of non techy and really cool and cute couples costumes i would love to see jack and eva from once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber that is one of my favorite books or maybe impersonate people from caraval or i don't know just be fun, be creative, embrace 
what your passions are and if you like a very obscure book that nobody heard about or a very obscure movie yes please go like that please do your question like that or i would love to see local celebrities not just i don't know people because everybody did people no pick a celebrity from your country okay because i'm sure everybody has showbiz level of celebrities in their country that were fun and they became memes and that you could go as for halloween pretty easily please let me know down in the comment section what your costume what your makeup is this Halloween and if I accidentally dissed your specific look please still let me know it's nothing personal I'm really curious and I really hope that if you had no inspiration before I still hope you found some cute ideas in this video to recreate thank you so so much for watching have fun this Halloween creating your look and I'll see you fairies next time bye